What makes Synology unique is our award-winning user interface, Disk Station Manager, or DSM for short. In this video, I will introduce you to this UI, which is used on all of our devices. The DSM looks much like a typical desktop, with icons, a taskbar, and even a wallpaper image. To start our tour, we'll start with a fresh install and take a look at the main menu. The main menu provides access to almost every feature that runs within the DSM. I'm going to open the text editor to show you how these features appear. The window that appears can be resized to preference, moved around the DSM desktop, as well as minimized, maximized, and closed. An icon for the open window appears in the taskbar. If you would like to access an open window repeatedly, just right-click or two-finger-click the taskbar icon and choose Pin to Taskbar. To add more items to the desktop itself, either drag them to the edge of your browser window from the main menu, or right-click an icon to add it to the desktop. Additionally, icons in the control panel can be added to the desktop, as well as subfolders from FileStation. Items on the desktop can be grouped. Just click and drag one icon over another, then drag any other icons to the group that you'd like. Open the group to rename it, and arrange icons in the list to affect the preview. You may have noticed that the control panel has the number 1 in an overlay. Items with important actions will have a number to indicate the number of important actions. Entering the control panel, we see that Update and Restore has a number as well, so let's take a look. It appears that there is an important update available for the NAS, so I will go ahead and apply it. Once the update is complete, a number appears over the notification icon on the right side of the taskbar. Major events with the NAS or DSM will be shown here. You may also see a number appear on Package Center if an update is available for an installed package. Moving to the next taskbar icon brings us to the Options menu. Here you can perform actions like Reboot, Shutdown, or Log Out of the DSM. Entering options will bring you to settings specific to your account within the DSM. Set your password, link your social media accounts, or make the DSM a bit more personal by tweaking the theme. The spyglass on the right side of the frame lets you search for items in the DSM. For example, if you want to run a website from your NAS, you can just search the word website. The first icon will take you to the appropriate control panel page so you can easily complete the action and start adding pages to the web folder. Next, we'll take a look at widgets. To show or hide the widget panel, click the meter icon. In the panel itself, we can easily add or remove widget panels. Some widgets can be collapsed to the taskbar or resized to make room for other widgets. The last icon on the taskbar is the pilot view button. This becomes available when multiple windows are open and enables you to enter a quick overview of available windows. On the opposite end of the taskbar, to the left of the main menu, is a Show Desktop button. This can be used to quickly minimize and restore active windows. As you can see from our quick tour, despite a large number of options, everything on your Synology NAS is only a few clicks away in Disk Station Manager.